What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on NN0, and this episode, I gotta say, was honestly really great, and I gotta say, I enjoyed it, it was fun, and really just loved seeing the way everyone was portrayed here, so much was actually given us to us in this episode, explanations and fights, I absolutely loved it. But without further ado, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help out the channel grow. It would mean the world to me as this is a fantastic series. And you guys, if you haven't checked out N0 yet, you should. But let's get to it. So, this episode, we actually got to see the four-on-four -four battle between the Element 4 and the Shining General Stars. Like, I love seeing the this, like battle ensue while this fight was ongoing we actually got to see rebecca shiki and wise going into dragon joe's uh, i guess you'd say rooftop uh, they were being attacked by draken and not trying to reach the the top but i love shiki's quick thinking he used his ability to form a nice shield to have all the ammo or bullets and whatever being deflected off of the ship which was something that Nain really needed and got quicker once they were able to be safe uh dragon of course he doesn't care for anyone here in the difference with number world number 29 he actually says he would kill everyone except for number 30 so i thought that was a difference there when it comes to him but while they're there, we actually have the Shining Stars going up, getting ready. And I love Hamora for the first time. She actually is part of the Shining Stars. As we know, she was going to take the place of Valkyrie. And I will say, she honors her name. She does a fantastic job as she goes up against Sylph. We have uh, Fee versus Sister. We have Witch versus Laguna. And we have Hermit excuse me fee versus hermit i don't know why i said sister and sister versus daichi and so i actually like that and the fight between all of them was funny especially with sister's fight the way she was like 60 days of you know not torturing anyone well i have 10 years being an ex dominatrix and i was like oh my gosh like you had to toss that in there literally and so that was fun for me to watch laguna having a more tougher fight with witch as he knows that if a person doesn't cry in front of him he does not have that advantage and with witch she fights she fights with a visor on her eyes so this helps out tremendously and with the fight with Hamora and Sylph, I want to say that was a rematch and so far Hamora is definitely you know, like I said, doing a great job keeping up with the stars. At the same time, we also see her, you know, being more, I guess, battle smart when it comes to finding Sylph. And finally, but not last, I mean, last but not least, excuse me, we have Hermit going up against Fee. And at first, Hermit has the advantage here. We actually see that she uh, is able to hack in some of the machine, uh, a machine that was like on their side and starts attacking Fee. Of course, Fee does react and he actually, you know, decides to you know, burn down this machine, control it, and then runs away. And we see Hermit once again turning the situation around and defeating him. So I actually really enjoyed him being defeated this way. A hermit getting a clean good win and not killing him officially so that's something that you know i can honestly say you know she she has a lot of heart but while this is ongoing this battle we actually see them on the rooftop speaking of shiki and the group they are on the rooftop and we have master noah basically revealing the truth that he has known for all this this entire time what rebecca's ability was the reasons why he did it which were he wants to take down draken uh he also go by the name undead which for wise is actually kind of like a triggering where it's like i've heard this name before of course he doesn't say quite yet why where he's heard that name or why he's heard it but we see that master noah 
though he has been very sketchy up until this point, explains his reasons. Now, do I find him to be the most valid personally? No. He's sacrificed their friends, uh, essentially, a couple of times. Yes, you have Rebecca, who has this ability and has used it 30 times at this point for different instances, but you still have basically fed your friends to the wolf that is probably the worst. And he said that of all the scenarios, he went and all Doctor Strange on us here. This is the one where you can actually defeat him. Everyone else, you have been, not been able to beat him. And it could be that this may be the last time. He can't actually verify that, which is crazy. But overall, like I said, this has been a good episode. I enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, though, guys, stay safe. And I'll catch you all later.